Hello YouTube, welcome to Market Watch. It's that time of the week we're talking about the Digimon card game market. Um, RBO1 is finally, finally out after all these months. And Ultimate Cup format is over. We're moving on to regional format and the future. Things went a little bit topsy-turvy this weekend. And I think that this is important. I think there's a lot to cover this week. If you guys like this content, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos do go live. On the market here is where we always start, and there ain't anything crazy going on. You can kind of see here that both Zwart defeats are the same price. This one's from the RBO one, and this one's from the regular, and they're basically the same. Pretty crazy. The alternate art has also gone down a lot, because now it's less, less important, less needed. And the alternate art lottery card is also way, way, way down in price, which is super fun. If you want to look at something really, really funny... Come and look at this. Wow, $1 secret rare. <laughs> yeah, that that tanked that card's price to oblivion. Unbelievable. Like crazy, crazy stuff happening. Even Blitz Omni is a dollar. Oh, who would ever thought that the Blitz for game card would be a dollar? My goodness. Even this Omnimon X is down in price and all the artwork reprints... All the alternate arts of the Blitz Omni are all down in price. Oh, this reprint set, my oh my. Now, remember this box topper that was selling for uh, $999 last market watch? Luckily, no one had the brainworms and no one bought it. The most expensive copy was bought for a hundred. A hundred. That's pretty crazy. This has tanked so much compared to that price. Not that I'm surprised, because that price was just ridiculous to begin with. But, you know, it is what it is, and that is why you don't buy the pre-sales. Kind of an extreme example, but yeah. Okay, alternate art Proximamon. Here is uh, $32. $32. Hmm. Um, you know, this fall a lot since Friday. That's true. But if you guys want to see something crazier, up is down. And right is left, as the regular Seeker Rare is more expensive. Wow. How did this happen? Uh, the short answer is Secret Rare pulls versus um, alternate art pulls. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video is going to be like nothing I've ever made before. It's going to be a full comprehensive breakdown of the reprint set, which is going to be insane. Because we've never seen anything in terms of this set quite like um, what, we, what we're seeing with this. There's some absolute nonsense happening here with this set. And it takes a full dedicated video to talk about it. A lot more dedicated than I can do in a market watch. However, th this is really funny. And this might just be kind of normal, at least for right now. Yeah, that's uh, it's crazy. Uh, but hopefully, again, you didn't buy the pre-sales because, you know, uh, this card did was pretty expensive. And people have been buying. People have been buying. People have been buying at absolute insane numbers. These cards. Pretty crazy. Uh, all right. Serious Mon. The Super Rare. $25. Uh, I'm going to show one example of something, and we're going to move on. As you guys can see, the set came out on... There, that day, Friday 29th, right? Look how low it was. Look how low, low it was. Look how low it was. This is, this, and we'll keep going. Just to show a point here. This is why I tell people to buy things on release day. Because sometimes you have to. You guys can see someone was buying the pre-sales. Now, someone's going to look at this and say, I should have bought the pre-sales. Look at the price now. Wow, isn't this crazy? No, the correct answer is you should have bought this on release day. That's the correct answer. Never buy the pre-sales, but always buy on release. And anyone who bought on release is laughing. Laughing. <laughs> laughing, you know what I mean? And that's just one card. I could go through it with freaking Arturismon. Did very, very similar things. Could go through it with uh, Amphimon. Did very similar things. Could go through it with Diarbitmon. Dire, now, to be fair, um, 
no one's really excited about the green card for some reason, and that's a shame because I really like the green card. But uh, yeah, same same shit for all these cards. Just we're gonna talk about this more in tomorrow's deep dive of RBO one video. I'm not actually recording it until literally tomorrow night because I want to have the freshest data available for um, that. So yeah, there we go. Stuff's been going crazy. For a couple more crazy things though, um, box topper cards. By the way, don't forget this is a box topper. The serious this lottery card box topper is actually a box topper. Just very 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 hard to pull. Uh, we opened three cases here. Didn't pull one at all. No one did. But uh, these ones are being pulled a lot. And fifteen dollars. This also has the same pattern. It was very cheap on release, and it just exploded. And yes, all of this is affecting the box toppers too, except for Sirius Mod, which no one really cares about. But it's probably going to affect that too soon. Soon. Maybe by the time I record my video tomorrow for Tuesday, oh man, maybe it'll be too late. I don't know. But yeah, this is the really expensive box topper. The rest is kind of like whatever. People are most hyped with the Gammon deck. And that's interesting, but uh, that's fine. Not a big deal. Now, this is actually... The most expensive card in the set. Proxima Mon is $37. Alt Art Actorus Mon, $39. This is the most expensive card in the set. Which makes sense because this card's broken AF. A lot of people like to say, Mario, you're wrong. Mario, you're crazy. But no, this card is nuts in terms of value. Uh, and there's not that many listings, to be honest. And people have been buying it. Again, alternate arts have fallen for similar patterns. It was dirt cheap, and now it's not. Same shit's happening here. So anyway, enough with RBO1. We're going to really, really, really deep dive into it on tomorrow's video. I just wanted you guys to be aware this is a thing. This will be a thing, for sure. Uh, now, Coromon, the prize card, or participation prize, whatever. It had kind of a buyout, sort of. Um, not that many listings are left. People have been going on it. There was a little bit of movement here, as you can see. Now there's not that much left. Some guys got 7 for 100, and then we got 100, 100, 105, nuts. Uh, considering people want to play this by the play set, literally three buyers, and that's it. That's all it is. Um, this card is still good right now. Still will be good in BT14, and people are going to be playing it for a while, I think. Not super surprised, but Greymon hype obviously never goes away, right? Vent pack five cards. Just stop. Just stop. 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 Just stop. Don't do it. Just stop. Uh, a blue memory boost. I want to talk about these boosts here. So these are the alternate, alternate arts of the memory boosts. These are the ones that are coming in the adventure boxes that are available at your local Walmarts and, and Targets and stuff like that. Once you live in Canada, then you're just fucked. But that's okay. Um, these will be expensive. These will be the most expensive ones. There's not enough sales data because there's honestly not that many of them. Like, look, there's just not that much happening. That's it. Not that many sales, really. Um, and these things are going to get harder and harder to find as time goes on on those Walmarts and such keep stock in the shelves. Uh, I expect these cards to kind of cool off a little bit and just remain expensive because they're boosts. And until people start abusing the training cards more than the boosts, they will continue to be money. I think you should sell them now. If you got them, you should sell them. That's my opinion. Uh, or you could try to cause a buyout and go nuts. There is also that. Um, okay. Hold on one second. Okay. The Mirage Gagamon cards are going down. Ultimate Cup is over. This stuff will crash, and that's that's that. Uh, Gammon, Winter Pack Roll Knights. Um, it's technically gone down, but people have been buying for crazy prices, and people keep buying. There's action going on. People are buying this card like crazy, uh, and now there's only nine listings left. This card's close to gone. Um, yeah, Beale Star. Let's talk about this card. Like, I think it was like two weeks ago I mentioned that people were going to play this and need an EX5 Melga decks and all that. This card we'll see play at Nationals. And not just some random control tech because Primitive Cage thinks it's a cool idea for him. No, this will actually see meta play. At Nationals. 
and the hype is there for it. And this card's gonna keep going up for a bit, then it's gonna go down, and then that's when you buy it again. Um, isn't this just a big RIP? That alternate art secret rare is $7.40? Man, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Um, Nidhogg pre-release stamp is lower than, you know, I think it should be, considering it was selling for this and all that. I think this card will go up again soon because of all the discard shenanigans happening in the near future. I think this card is going to go up really, really soon. There's not as many listings left. This card's going to go kind of ham here. Jellymon. People are really excited for Jellymon. I think people, you know, they think Jellymon's going to be the best deck out of all of them. And if that's the case, it'll see regional results. We have regional this weekend coming up, and if people start talking with Jellymon, goodbye. <laughs> that's it. Um... To be honest, though, people can just buy this out right now, and that'll cause some nonsense as well. So, right now, a little bit of unpredictability happening in the market. That's kind of how that goes. Henry Wong, alternate art, memory tamer for the Gargomon Rapidmon tribal deck, basically. This card's really low. Now, I'm bringing this up because I always like to say, you know, invest in cheap alt arts, maybe you'll get lucky, and if not, you barely lose any money doing it. This card's crazy. Maybe. We don't know yet. Um, the Terriermon, Lopmon, Stardeck cards, Vastack cards will be starting to be revealed soon. If this card fits, this card could go up. If not, it won't. But if you have a spare 20 bucks lying around, maybe less, if you can get it cheaper for less, maybe grab a playset. I don't know. What, like, I've thrown away 20 bucks before on worse, and I've ended up fine. Might be okay. Maybe. Last card is Sunamon Box Topper, the purple one. When, once per turn, when you trash a card in your hand, using your effects, draw a card. An egg that will see a lot of play again, potentially really soon. Uh, hype is making this card go crazy. Just throw that out there. That's it for today's Market Watch, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Look forward to tomorrow's video. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, see you later. Bye.